Hey, Curtis Wild people, here's a quick video on how to, uh, one cool trick for setting up mono pressure to affect uh, parameters like filters and volume and pitch, things like that, uh, using an ASR envelope. An ASR is just a very simple envelope. It's a shape with a, an attack, a sustain, and a release. Um, so we're going to use my power trim string sound, hit edit, and first thing we do is hit the program button, which now solos the layer that we're on. And we're going to move over DSP mod page, go down to level, which is volume. And over on the right, we can see that ASR1 is boosting that volume. Let's crank it up a little bit to exaggerate the effect. Now select ASR1, hit edit, and that moves you over to this page with all the LFOs and the ASRs and the funds. So we're going to uh, show you how to assign pressure. I'll undo this for a minute. So hold enter. I'm going to move a slider. Now a slider is assigned. And now I hold enter, push a key, and lay into it, and that assigns mono pressure. Now we go back to the DSP mod page, and uh, here you can hear it. another taste of, of how it works. We'll, we'll assign it to pitch because that's pretty uh, exaggerated. That's pretty hard to miss. So pitch for source. We scroll backwards. We go to ASR 1 and set it to a crazy depth. And now when we hit it, nothing. One thing that, that's important is you don't want to accidentally trigger pressure. Um, that can be a real drag, it can, especially depending on what's assigned to it. Um, so here we hit the note and we'll lay into it. And obviously that's not practically useful, but you can hear the ramp up time and that is is very helpful and useful and important um, so let's get rid of that get rid of that and then one other cool thing you can do is we'll assign an lfo to be affected by the asr so we're going to do for a source we'll do lfo2 because that's already working depth control, scroll backwards, and we get to ASR1, and then minimum depth, nothing, maximum depth, we'll set it to something crazy, and let's quickly make these times a little longer on the ASR, so you can really hear the ramp up and the ramp down. So now we'll hit our hit our notes. Again, not practically useful in this case. I'm trying to sh show something that's very exaggerated, but for instruments, wind instruments, or things like fretless bass, where you want a vibrato. Um, to, to be very realistic and elegant. This is a cool way to do it. Um, so there you go, using ASRs with mono pressure.